What up free bosses? In this video, I'm gonna give you a mini chat tutorial on how to best broadcast to your subscribers. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to send a message blast to people that are in certain segments of your subscriber list. So like you can hit different people that have been tagged or you can hit your entire list. And this is the best way to send a message blast, whether you're linking them over to a blog post or getting them to do anything really. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do all of that inside this video, so stay tuned. First, before we jump into it though, I wanna tell you about a free course that I have. It's called the Free Boss Lifestyle Course. It's 100% free, and in this course, I'm gonna teach you many chat, Facebook ads, click funnels, email marketing, all things around running digital marketing campaigns and how to write sales copy for landing pages, Facebook ads, everything. This course is very high value and it's 100% free. So you literally have nothing to lose. So head over to freebosslifestyle.com, opt into this free course and start learning. We already have over a thousand people that are inside the course and taking the course on a regular basis and I'm getting amazing feedback from it. So, so let's go ahead and jump into this video. So as you can see here, you can see my screen and we are on the back end of many chat in the broadcast section. So you do need to have a little bit of subscribers in order to be able to do something like this. My best recommendation to grow subscriber lists is by using the JSON growth tool, the JSON growth tool using Facebook ads, or if you have a landing page that already gets a great amount of traffic, use the messenger ref URL and just put that on a button, get them to opt in using that if you already have a lot of organic traffic. But we're just gonna go ahead and create a new broadcast so I can show you this step by step. So this is the first message that they're going to see. So I always like to keep this very brief, very uh, informational, just to the point. Um, let's say that for the purposes of the, this video, we're going to wanna get them to link over to watch a YouTube video, which is typically what I do is when I release a new YouTube video, I send out a message blast to everybody on my subscriber list and I tell them about the video. But instead of just immediately sending them a link to watch the video, I like to ask them, hey, would you like to see this video? Would you mind if I share this link with you? Do you want me to share this link with you? So then you can go and watch the video. I could easily just put it here in the button saying click this button to watch the video now, but it's more powerful if I ask for permission to send them the link. It's a higher probability that they will actually watch the video, actually click on that link to go watch it. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of sales psychology stuff. So first I'm gonna say, you know, you could either say, hey, hey there, if you want to, or you can customize it and click on this little parentheses thing and put in their first name. So you could say, hey there, first name, or you can just keep it as brief as possible and say first name. You know, always put a lot of emojis and GIFs, like actual GIFs into your uh, message blast. So I'm going to say first name. Um, so because I'm going to be driving them to a, a new YouTube video, I'm going to say new video alert. And so that it looks nice, I'll put it on a new line like that. And then I'll say the name of the video. So over here on my YouTube channel, you have some of these videos right here. So I'm just gonna pick, uh, these two videos are actually really great for Facebook audience selection and things like that. So I'm gonna pick on this one right here. So in this video, uh, 10 Facebook ad tips for targeting. So we're gonna click share, get that URL. Uh, in this video, we're talking about Facebook ad targeting tips uh, for business owners when you're wanting to target business owners and people that have a higher income. So um, I will grab the title first. New video alert, 10 Facebook ad tips for targeting high income people. Then I'll give them a little bit of a description of what they're gonna learn in this video. So I'll say, if you're needing to target business owners, then you must watch this short video on the best audiences. So look okay. um, um, let's see, I write things down. So it's extremely easy to understand. And um, so it's extremely easy to understand. Easy to understand. Easy to understand. Um, you can say click the yes button below if you want me to send you the link now. So just something really basic. Um, usually what I'll do is I'll put an image 
above here um, like an image thumbnail of the actual video so I'll go grab that now okay so I've got the image thumbnail installed so now they're going to get that image thumbnail they're gonna see this message and now we just need to create the buttons so we have two options for doing this we can either create the button right here or we can use a quick reply now the difference is that a quick reply, reply will vanish and disappear after they click yes or no and they'll go to the next step. A button will actually still stay there even after they've clicked it and proceed to the next step. So it's really up to you what you want to do. Sometimes quick replies get clicked a little bit more. For this example, I'm going to do a button. So click on the add button and you just say yes, send the link. We'll put in a little gift emoji, and then we want to hit send message. Now again, you have the option here. You can either um, you can either put the link directly there, and they can click on that and go directly to the video, or you can just have them send a message. And this next message, we're going to title it yes, and we're going to say awesome. Um, yeah, maybe another gift. Uh, awesome. Click the button below now to uh, watch the video. And then this button actually links over to the actual YouTube video. So let's call it um, watch the video. We want to create a tag so everybody that clicks that we can just tag them. Um, I like to actually call them clicked YouTube video link to video, right? So whenever they click the link to the actual video, we'll hit done. And when they click on this, then we're going to tag them just saying clicked video link. So the reason I do this, oh, looks like we have too much copy. So we'll just remove that. Let's see if that works. Yep, that worked. Okay, so we're gonna tag them saying click the YouTube video link. So what we're doing, we're kind of making them jump over an obstacle here. Instead of just sending them the link directly and watching the video, we're kind of making them say, yes, send me the link. And then we're sending them another message and then linking them directly to the video. Again, this is better because we're asking for the permission, which is gonna increase the chances of them actually clicking the video and actually watching it. Um, and it's gonna kind of make them kind of work for it a little bit more. Uh, it's also a micro commitment. So like they're saying yes to watching the video, clicking the link and actually um, saying yes again. So they click on this yes to watch the video. We send them the message, awesome, awesome. click the link below now to watch the video. Then they got to click this, which then links over to the video. So we're hoping to qualify them a little bit more, kind of make sure that they stay on the list. Also, we're going to be cleaning the list because if they say, no, right? Then we'll have them send the message saying, okay, no worries. Um, Cause I don't want a bunch of people on my list that don't like receiving messages from me. They don't know how to unsubscribe. They're just basically a waste of me paying for my, you know, list people and stuff. So I like to tell them, remember you can, unsubscribe from getting my messages at any time by replying stop. So I tell them, hey, you can get off this list. I can stop bugging you if you just reply stop. Um, and then I say, in case you change your mind, you can click the button below to watch the video later. So then I still link the button <laughs> over here. I still link them to the video, watch the video, open the website, put that there. So they're still gonna be, and then remember to tag it. They still have the option. Because I mean, screw it, maybe they changed their mind. Maybe they were just playing around and they were curious to see what does no actually do? You know, some people just kind of play with this. I definitely do that. 
So then after they click this button and they watch the video, you can actually have it continue with another step, which you can choose to be a smart delay. So this can be a little bit longer of a delay um, where it could be like a day, a couple hours, a couple minutes, so a longer delay. So let's say that your video is 15 minutes or let's say an hour later, you wanna send them another message that is then linking them over to this video, right? So you saw that they clicked the, the video, you hit them with the smart delay, that's gonna wait an hour, and then that's gonna send them this second message saying, did you have a chance to check out that video? If you, I don't know, if you got value from it or if you learned, if you benefited from what I talked about in that video, then you're going to love this next video called insert name, put in a button link, open website. Um, is that the, or no? There we go, we'll paste that in there. Um, grab the link. Put the link right here. Title it that. You can also tag it with your um, Clicked link to video. Clicked YouTube video link to video. So we're tagging them with that again. I mean, they're already tagged in there, so it shouldn't really matter. You can also create a new tag if you wanted to. Um, so then you're gonna hit them with another video, just kind of following up. Again, you don't have to do an hour. You could set this to a day. So maybe the next day, because they clicked yes, they watched this video, then they're gonna wait a day and then they're gonna be sent this video, watching them to, a, or linking them to a related video. Now, when you wanna actually send this out, you hit go to next, and you can either send to all of your subscribers right there, or you can choose just a tag to send it to, so just a small segment of your subscribers. So, let's just say I wanted to send it to just the people that click the actual video links so you go to tag is and we type in clicked yt uh, video link so that's clicked so i think it was like 200 people then we could send it yeah to 219 users right now because we know that they're more likely to watch the video so we could send it to just them i usually just send it to everybody i mean i'm a big fan of just send it to everybody on the list and then the people that don't like my content, don't like receiving messages from me, will just unsubscribe, and they probably weren't a good fit anyway. So that right there is how you can create a simple broadcast, giving them the yes or no question, you know, do you want me to send you the link? If so, you send them the link through another message, and then you create a smart delay after that step, and then wait an hour, wait a day, send them a related video. If they say no to you saying, do you want me to send you the link? Then um, you give them the option to unsubscribe and you still send them the link <laughs> if you want to, or you can send them to something else, or you can add them to a sequence. So there's a lot of different options. I hope you learned something from this video. Mini chat is super complex, so it really just comes down to what are you wanting to build out and what do you want that user experience to be in that whole funnel that they go through the customer journey and all that kind of stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Again, visit freebosslifestyle.com to jump into my 100% free course where you're going to learn Facebook ads, click funnels, how to write sales copy, mini chat, all stuff around digital marketing. freebosslifestyle.com. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.